Hello, this is Nancy from InMotion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put images into text. So we're going to put this image of a surfer into this text wave. So let's have a look at how to do it. You can get this image from uh, the free website Pixabay and I'll leave a link to the actual picture if you want to use the same one. So here we have our image and I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger by holding the Alt or Option key and scrolling forward. So we just have this background at the moment. Next thing to do is to add some text. So come over here and select the Type tool. OK, so it's a good idea to choose a text that's quite chunky and large so that we can see our image through the text. So let's just now click on the canvas and it says I've got Erica 1 loaded. So I'm going to type the word wave. Now this is a text that I had used before. It's quite large and chunky and um, so it's a good choice but at the moment obviously it's a bit small so now we need to increase the size let's just double click and then come up to the size and increase that all the way and go to the move tool and then just adjust those letters so that they're over the surfer I think I'd like to have these letters a little bit bigger so hold down the shift key and pull at the corner to hold the aspect ratio and to make sure everything everything's not distorted and then once you think you've got the person within a letter just let go and then let's click confirm at the top take away those transform controls. So now what we want to do is to get our image to um, go into the letter. So we need to click on the background and hold and hold and drag the background up above the text. Next, we need to right click and choose clip in mask. And this is where the magic happens. You can click back onto the picture, turn those transform controls back on, and move that image around so that it's actually within the text as you want it. And if at this stage you wanted to, you could also double click and increase the size of the text. Let's have a look. We can move it around and elongate it, maybe get a bit of the sky in there which looks pretty cool. And yeah, so I think I like that. Let's just click the tick, turn off those controls and we can also add a background to this. So in order to do that, so at the moment it, it is uh, transparent, as you can see by the checkerboard. So next, add a new layer, click down here. And let's bring that layer down like that. And we want to add a color, so click on our layer. Go over to where the paint bucket tool is, choose a colour, I think, mm, yeah, just choose any colour you like, I think I'll go with this one, click OK, now I'll click the paint bucket and that is the result. So it's pretty quick and easy, just three steps get your image, get some text on the image, move the image above the text, make the image into a clipping mask, and then add a new layer um, if you want a background. So I hope you found that useful. 
See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.